let's go into Google or into Chrome. Make sure you're signed in. So you need to be signed in here. And if you haven't signed in or set up your account, you can do that. You should also know that you can set up multiple users. <clears throat> so this is my school user profile. And you can always set up a new user. So I have several profiles that I use. All right, so be sure you're signed in. And the other thing you should check is in settings. You should go down to show advanced settings and see where your downloaded content goes. You should know what folder this is. For me, I'm really happy with this placement, which is the default, but for you it might be something completely different. So double check where your, de where your default downloads go. All right, so we can close that. And now we're gonna go to the Chrome store, which is a very cool place to discover all kinds of very nice things. And here we're gonna look for the Google Images Downloader. And there are apps up at the top, but that's not what we're looking for. We're actually going to look for the image downloader, and we're going to install it on our computer and add that. And now it's appeared right here. And these are my Chrome extensions, and I have quite a few of them. I like them very much. Um, but I've added this. So now let's go back to where we were before, which was we were on our list of images because we had dragged an image into Google Image Search and it generated this fabulous list of results of all the instances where this ad appears. Let's choose this con 10 controversial ads that wouldn't be allowed today. All right, and we're gonna go to the Google Images Downloader and it shows all the pictures on this page but we're only gonna choose some of them. We're gonna choose this, this, and this is the one we were looking for in the first place, okay. And now we are going to choose, we can do only images with links because we really, that what's the point of that otherwise, and we can choose download. And now we get this little warning message here that says, um, if you've set up a default download location for Chrome, the files will be saved there. Otherwise, you will have to choose a save location for each file, which might open a lot of save dialogues. Are you sure you want to do this? And the answer for me is yes, because I went and checked to make sure that I had all my downloads going into the right folder. So I'm gonna go ahead with that. Obviously, if you're doing this on your own computer, you can choose, don't choose, don't show this again. And now I'm gonna go right here to my downloads and they are all there. Now on a Mac, you can also check in your downloads folder and here they are and I can do with them what I choose to.